Mortal Kombat 11 brings us plenty of the blood-spilling, spine-crushing, face-slamming action we've grown to love. But it's the unique characters that keep us coming back. The roster ranges from classic favorites like Sub-Zero and Scorpion to new additions like the Elder Goddess Cetrion, who does things like take over the atmosphere just to burn you to the ground. You know, typical god stuff. It's time to get over here, because things are about to get Hi. I'm Mario Bueno with the leaderboard, and today I'm going to tell you what your Mortal Kombat 11 main says about you. Cassie Cage. This strong character is tough like her mother Sonya Blade, but has a touch of the pop star persona she inherited from her father Johnny Cage. The person who chooses to main her is lit AF fam, though your hot moves ain't worth nothing if you don't throw them up on social media. But it's okay, because your gameplay skills mean you can be forgiven for showboating about your hashtag blessed life on Instagram. Jackie Briggs. A tough-as-nails badass who will approach any situation head-on, a Jackie main is always down to roll with the punches, as long as they're the one throwing them. They're a fighter in any situation, ready to take on the world. And while someone who mains her father Jax is going for that OG classic fighter style, Jackie represents the new school. So move on over, pops. Jackie ain't got time to change her depends. Ooh, brutality. Liu Kang. A Liu Kang main has been loyal since the beginning. They've seen the darkest of times, <coughs> special forces, yet always managed to find their way back to Mortal Kombat. A Liu Kang main is noble, but they know that defeat can bring out the worst in them. They have to keep their cool, fighting for good, lest they become something evil. But realistically, this is less of an unleash a plague on the earth evil and more like bring smelly food to the office because you know Nick in accounting hates it and that jerk humiliated you live on stream with a babality evil. Sonya Blade. As the MK franchise's first female character, Sonya Blade has quite a legacy to uphold. If you main Sonya, it's because you're all in on a classic combat character. She's rigid, regimented, and she's probably never skipped leg day in her life. A strong Sonya knows how to mix up playstyles to cater to the occasion. Kinda reminds me of a popular female UFC champion and recent WWE superstar. Probably just a coincidence. Scorpion. Fact. Everyone loves Scorpion. I love Scorpion. Clearly. But I'll be the first to admit that he's basically the Mickey Mouse of the Mortal Kombat series. Assuming Mickey Mouse was an incredibly violent ninja warrior. I'm gonna rip off your spine! Uh -huh. He's become so mainstream that plenty of players prefer to experiment with the game's diverse array of other characters instead. So if you're playing Scorpion, you've been in the MK game for a long time, but you don't care about all these new faces. Seeing that classic yellow getup fills your heart with nostalgia, before burning through your ribcage to leave it dangling in disgusting fashion because Scorpion's fatalities have always been so freaking sad. Satisfying. The Collector. A win's not a win unless you can prove it with a trophy, and the Collector has a horde of body parts and puts them out for the world to see. And those who main him do the same, but with less of a mess. Collector mains still have every Little League, Youth Soccer, and Spelling Bee trophy they've ever won, just don't get them talking about the good old days because they haven't won an award since. The best they can do now is brag about their win rate, and maybe their high score on that MK2 cabinet at their local arcade back in 93. Noob Cybot. Who'd have thought that this throwaway secret character would go on to become a major part of the saga? For Raiden's sake, his name is just the Mortal Kombat creator's names spelled backwards! That said, a noob main is far from being an actual noob since this complex character requires mastery over his special moves. If you're going with a noob, you're ready to sweat it out for hours just like you did in the arcade years before. Mr. Boone and Mr. Tobias are gonna be so proud of you! Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero has come a long way from being Blue Scorpion in the earliest days of Mortal Kombat. Using the power of cold, a Sub-Zero main knows how to ice their way out of any combat situation. Or real life situation. Though not with literal ice, of course. Really, all it takes is one icy glare from them to freeze someone dead in their tracks. Usually after said person brings up that mythologies game. God, that sucked. Frost. In her early incarnation, many people considered Frost to be Lady Sub-Zero. But times have changed, so let's set the record straight. If he's simply Sub-Zero, then she's at least like negative 1,000 degrees. Celsius. A Sub-Zero main is inspired by familiar, nostalgic gameplay, but a Frost main is inspired by powerful blasts and unpredictable moves. As a Frost main, you're cold as ice, willing to sacrifice your enemies in the name of the Lin Kuei. <laughs> I don't need no instructions to know how to rock. Aaron Black. All right, we get it. MK11 was just meant to tide you over until Red Dead Online gets more polished. But then you played as Aaron Black and felt the same connection you felt for Arthur Morgan all over again. Sure, you can't trim his beard or give him a bath, but 
Even you can admit that Aaron Black's special moves are way cooler than the Deadeye mechanic. A bit of a sleeper in the gameplay meta, Aaron Black has emerged as one of the most stacked characters in this game. But you and I know you were playing him well before it was cool. Good on you. Johnny Cage. Oh, Johnny Cage mains. I forgive you for your unironic love of entourage, memeable 90s action stars from Belgium, and your unabashed megalomania. But what I can't forgive is your washed up actor quips. At this point, you've probably become the old grandpa who tells forgettable and almost certainly fake stories of the movie industry at family potlucks. Look, I love you, but I hate to break it to you. You may be a fierce fighter who loves a good pair of $500 sunglasses, but you were never as cool as you think you were. You probably also really like the short film Man Getting Hit by Football. You probably want to Google that if you're under the age of 25 or don't live off of Simpsons memes. Just trust your pal Mario on this one, okay? Cetrion. Cetrion knows her place in the universe because as a deity, she plays a pretty important part in running the show. And the Cetrion main may actually be a god themselves. Her gameplay style gives her a ton of unique options to keep competitors on their toes. More spiritual and elemental than most other combatants, this player may prefer zoning over throwing aggro punches. Competitors may even troll you for playing her. She's overpowered at worst and annoying at best. But as a video game god, you deserve to main a god too, right? Oh, and on that note, Raiden. A Raiden main is very disciplined and thoughtful. People look to them as a leader. Raiden calls on his role as a god to strike fear in the hearts of his competitors. A revered teacher in the art of combat with a K, Raiden mains take this role with careful integrity. While he may not be as flashy as some other characters, we think Raiden would say there's virtue in emerging as an underdog who comes out on top. Right before shooting you full of enough electricity to power the Vegas Strip in like three land cafes during EVO or something. Katana. Righteous and valiant, Katana has been at the heart of the Mortal Kombat series for a long time. She's a favorite whose skilled combos make her a blast to play, but maining her means you may be deceitfully charming. You play her because you know she can hold her own, even in the toughest of scenarios. As if the good ending of Mortal Kombat 11 didn't already prove that. Devora. Some people consider her trash, but you consider her underrated. Devora is your stealth move, the one you've chosen to main simply because she's not all that popular with the masses. Why not choose her and let your opponents think they have an instant advantage before breaking them down with those wonderfully gruesome insect-driven powers? That's such a Devora thing to do anyway. Baraka. You will never stop playing Baraka, no matter how much other players complain about his weird teeth and creepy arm-biting cannibalism. Like Baraka, you're probably a little boorish, a little over the top, and very relentless. You'll stop at nothing to get what you want, even if it means just spamming uppercuts. Look, I get it, shark teeth knife hands. A win is a win, and button mashing isn't technically cheating by any means. But I'm still gonna call you out on it, bro. Geras. The character that doesn't die, Garros is all around intimidating. His arms scream, I survive exclusively on a diet of protein shakes and raw meat. Playing with teleportation and the old switcheroo, a Garros main is an outsider who has a skewed perception of the world around them. Some people might tell you that you're weird, but the rest of us, frankly, just avoid eye contact with you because we're too intimidated to tell you anything at all. If we could all rewind time like Garros can, we'd take a trip back to Mortal Kombat X, where we could challenge you before Garros was part of the series. Jax Briggs. A Jax main is a brawler at their core, but they still find time to enjoy their hobbies. They're devoted to working on their car, but always find time to hit the gym. It makes sense then that they play a guy with metal arms. Practicing their Jax combos is like tuning up their car and doing bicep curls at the same time. Someone who mains Jax is quick and aggressive. Just when you think you've managed to outplay them, you'll find yourself suddenly shocked to learn that they finally gotcha! Cabal. Okay, <laughs> time to lay off the Red Bulls there, buddy. Cabal's main attraction is a super speed, making him the perfect main for anyone who lives their life charged up and full of adrenaline. Quickness is your asset. You're speedy on the controls and have the mental agility of a superstar mathematician. Yeah, sure, you don't have any gold medals or fancy math diplomas, but you know as well as I do that your speed and quick thinking is best put to use in the arena. Kano. A Kano main won't be loyal to anyone but themselves. Sound harsh? Well, we all do what we have to in order to survive. You might act a little shady sometimes, but to you, it's just business. And you're always hungry for more, be it cold hard cash or just a solid win streak. Of course, who among us can say they haven't dabbled in a little bit of trickery and manipulation from time to time? At least a Kano main admits it. 
Scarlet. Ah yes, the Blood Queen. Elegantly evil, Scarlet represents beauty, bloodlust, and blade barrages. Frankly, it's remarkable how she can be so poised and so bloodthirsty at the same time. A Scarlet main is strong, confident, and very, very unforgiving. Seriously, don't piss them off because they can't help but hold a grudge. Like, for years. Jade. With a staff that makes her a fantastic character for distance play, a Jade main never drops their guard. Jade mains are always thinking about ways to step up to the challenge in any situation. You know the type. It's that piercing stare, that undivided focus, and that drive for greatness. No one has the courage to interrupt you when you're deep in the zone. You may call it discipline, but we can't help but worry. Should we be worried? Oh god, you have that crazy look in your eyes again. Shao Kahn. After all these years, I'm sure we've all developed a special love-hate relationship with one of video game history's most celebrated smack-talking villains. As a Shao Kahn main, you may not actually be a terrible person, but you're definitely going to come across like one in the arena. Your choice to play as him means you're into the dark and sinister, and you don't care how many lives you have to destroy to get what you want. To climb the ladder in ranked mode. Or conquer Earthrealm. Look, we all have hobbies. Kung Lao. Some players need to wear a lot of hats, but you're happy with just one, as long as it's Kung Lao's. Kung Lao mains want to make a statement, which is why they chose a character with varying ways to use his revered weapon, his hat, to their advantage. When you play as Kung Lao, you're thinking outside the box. Trustworthy and dedicated, you hone in on your opponent's weaknesses and adapt your gameplay style. But your headwear style always stays the same. Kotal Khan. Kotal Khan mains are all about power. Powerful moves, powerful presence, and powerful essence. Problem is, they're not always ready to hang with the big kid crowd. Sure, they've got a few punishing tricks, but they can never seem to get an edge, especially over that jerk Shao Khan. Those noogies they got as a kid still feel fresh as ever, so Kotal Khan mains have huge chips on their shoulders. They're ready to fight and to win at any cost. Shang Tsung. A Shang Tsung main is, quite simply, someone who never could decide on a main. Or someone who can't get enough of telling people, Your soul is mine. With his abilities, players get the best of all worlds with their ability to switch it up with other characters' abilities. You got Scorpion's Fire, Sub-Zero's Ice, and even Rain's Rain. Someone who plays as Shang Tsung is a bit of a chameleon whose talents lie in adapting to the scenario. J just don't confuse him with the character chameleon with a K. Oh god, these freaking names in this game. Mortal Kombat! Sindel. The queen of camp, we're thrilled to see her return as a playable character in MK11. Wild and a little wacky, a Sindel doesn't take themselves too seriously and knows, at the end of the day, it's all just a game. In fact, we should all give ourselves permission to be a little bit more like a Sindel. Minus all the weird zombie stuff and gut blasting gore, of course. Nightwolf. Like Nightwolf himself, those who main him are spiritual beings. The character has a strong sensory perception and a deep connection with the energy around him, allowing him to manifest weapons. In other words, this person definitely has an absurd crystal collection and thinks you should read the book The Secret. Yeah, I have to look that one up too, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, but seriously, a Nightwolf main is counting on the spirits to guide them. To a win, of course. All right, now it's time for the fun stuff. The guest characters. Spawn. Spawn is back and rated M for mother of... God, that's brutal! Spawn mains haven't felt comfortable since Soul Calibur 2 for the Xbox, but they've been biding their time with other guest characters like Jason, Freddy, and Leatherface. Finally, their patience has paid off, and they'll be fighting with more than 15 years of pent-up Spawn fandom at their backs. It's the Terminator, damn it! Look. We get that this is a pretty fun character here purely for the nostalgia element and possibly because there's another movie coming out in 2019, but who cares how good they are? Who gives a crap if no one ever figures out how to master their skill or play them effectively? Besides, not to sound like a cynic, but once the novelty wears off, we're pretty sure that you'll be back to playing other mains. Please be gentle in the comments section for my crappy Arnold impression. And there you have it. With so many characters, it's hard to choose a favorite to main. We'll have to wait and see who the other DLC characters are, but whichever character you choose, you can be sure that there will be plenty of gruesome final blows and finishers. Because, hey, it's not Mortal Kombat without a good stabbing or spine ripping. Thanks for watching. I'm Mario Bueno, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the leaderboard before you head back to Earthrealm. You might unlock a hidden fight with Reptile or something. No promises.